Understanding Stockholm Syndrome, Causes, Symptoms, and Coping Mechanisms Stockholm Syndrome is a psychological phenomenon that occurs when hostages or victims form an emotional bond with their captors or abusers. This complex response to trauma has been observed in various situations, shedding light on the intricacies of human psychology in the face of adversity. Let's delve into the causes, symptoms, and coping mechanisms associated with Stockholm Syndrome. What is Stockholm Syndrome? Stockholm Syndrome is named after an incident that took place in Stockholm, Sweden in 1973. During a bank robbery, hostages developed an unexpected bond with their captors. This phenomenon is now recognized as a survival mechanism that can manifest in abusive or hostage situations. Causes of Stockholm Syndrome, Perceived Threat to Survival The key trigger for Stockholm Syndrome is a perceived threat to survival. Victims may form an attachment to their captors as a subconscious strategy to increase their chances of survival. This can be heightened in situations where the captor shows intermittent kindness or perceived concern for the victim's well-being. 2. Isolation and dependence. Isolation from external support systems and dependence on the captor for basic needs can contribute to the development of Stockholm Syndrome. Victims may rationalize their captor's behavior as a means of coping with their vulnerable situation. STAS 3. Coping Mechanism. Stockholm Syndrome can be viewed as a coping mechanism, a psychological strategy to manage the overwhelming stress and fear associated with captivity. Developing a bond with the captor may provide a sense of control and predictability in an otherwise chaotic environment. Symptoms of Stockholm Syndrome. 1. Positive feelings toward captors. Victims may experience positive feelings, empathy, or even affection toward their captors. This emotional bond can be confusing for both the victim and those trying to understand the dynamics of the situation. 2. Defense of captors. Individuals with Stockholm Syndrome may go to great lengths to defend or protect their captors, even in the face of evidence suggesting their harmful actions. This loyalty stems from a complex mix of fear and emotional attachment. 3. Reluctance to cooperate with authorities. Victims may be reluctant to cooperate with authorities, resist rescue attempts, or even take actions against their captors. This resistance can be fueled by a genuine belief that the captor is not a threat or is acting in their best interest. Coping Mechanisms 1. Professional Support Recovery from Stockholm Syndrome often requires professional intervention. Mental health professionals can help victims understand their experiences, provide coping strategies, and guide them toward healing. 2. Safe Support Systems Establishing safe and supportive connections outside of the captor-victim relationship is crucial. Friends, family, or support groups can play a vital role in helping victims break free from the psychological bonds formed during captivity. Empowerment and autonomy. Empowering victims to regain control of their lives and make autonomous decisions is fundamental to overcoming Stockholm Syndrome. Rebuilding self-esteem and fostering independence are essential aspects of the recovery process. Understanding the complexities of Stockholm Syndrome is vital for both professionals and the general public. By recognizing the psychological mechanisms at play, we can contribute to creating a more compassionate and informed approach to supporting individuals who have experienced traumatic situations.